Walking in the moonlight, staying up to sunrise. Baby, you can let your walls come down. I guess you guys really haven't seen my new hair in a YouTube video, but here it is. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already know. I have like pinkish blonde hair. It was more pink before or more pink purpley color, but the pink faded out quite a bit. It is just a little bit there because I did use pink shampoo, so hopefully that will help the pink color come back. But today I'm going to be bringing you guys along to film vlog because I am planning to pick out a film camera and I don't know anywhere else in Seoul that I can buy a film camera or at least like somewhere that has a lot of film cameras for me to choose from so I'm just gonna go to film vlog maybe pick up some film and everything I actually got one of these disposable cameras on Coupang, which is basically the Amazon of Korea and I wanted to try out film So I need to get this developed because all of my Jeju pictures are on here And then hopefully I can take more pictures with my new like 35 mm film camera It'll be a vibe for sure. So I'll take you along with me I've also never been to Dongdae Moon area before ever So this will be my first time and you guys can come experience this with me So I have my umbrella just in case it does rain I'm also wearing like the most simple outfit I have my canvas bag just so I can put my actual camera in here because it's pretty big And I'm just wearing these Aritzia linen shorts that I've been wearing all summer And a simple black top so let's, oh, let's head on over So I'm currently near Dongdaemun and I'm gonna go cross the street so I can go to film vlog but I mean I don't see the actual Dongdaemun like fashion design um, actually it's not what they as a fashion design but it's where Seoul Fashion Week is but I don't see that building anywhere in here so maybe it's like around the corner or something Got a film camera. Isn't she so cute? She's red. She's automatic. I love her. But they did say that I can use this for 15 days and then decide if I want it or just return it and they'll give me a full refund. So I'm gonna try it out and test it out. Hopefully I like it. There's the Dongdae Moon building. This is my first time here. All I'm gonna do is just walk around this area and just, you know, take a little stroll and maybe then when I go back to actually work the rest of the day, I won't feel so stuffy inside since I already came outside and did my little exercise or hot girl walk, whatever. soft boiled eggs or more like medium boiled eggs because I really want to make an egg mayo sandwich. Let's hope this turns out well because I've tried this many times before and let's just say it didn't turn out so great. <laughs> Those recipes are lying to me. It's not easy. Oh my gosh guys, look at my creation. Wow, she's so pretty. I basically made like an egg mayo sandwich and I used vegan mayo. I also put some whole grain mustard as well as duck slices and romaine lettuce on whole wheat bread. This looks so good. I followed the same method as a lot of Korean, would I consider them ASMR? I don't know, but they do like cooking videos, but they don't talk in their cooking videos. They only have subtitles, but they always do this method where they wrap it and then they have it all pretty like this. I actually don't know if I would do this all the time. Maybe if I was like taking this out somewhere because it is a lot of plastic wrap to use every single time you eat a sandwich, but it does make it to look really pretty. Maybe I'll take a picture before I eat it. Okay, let's dig in. Gotta get used to not washing my hair so often so that the pink stays in. Good thing I have pink shampoo. So time for skincare. What do I want to use today? 
I think today I'm gonna go in with a toner. This is one from Hero Cosmetics. I do like this one. I'm almost done with it, so I'm just planning on finishing it up. I've been really good about not opening products until I finish them up, but sometimes I do feel like that limits me from trying too many new products at once, which could be a good or bad thing. I think it is better for my skin though. Also, this is your sign to get a lash perm if you haven't already. I love my lash perm. It makes things so much easier because even when I do curl my lashes, it falls down in like the middle of the day after maybe like one or two hours since my hair is so thin. But I'm scared of lash extensions because I'm scared I'm going to get addicted to them. That's besides the point. As for serum, I've been using this one quite a bit. This is my favorite one lately. It's the Coco Kind Probiotic Acne Serum. I think it helps a lot with just congested skin and a lot of times I get texture and like bumps on the sides of my face and it's because I went to get a facial once and then the esthetician was like oh it's because like you don't exfoliate enough I mean she's right this one is super gentle so I know I won't be over exfoliating my skin even if I use this daily or every other day I make sure to use this only at night because even though you can use this in the morning or at night I just feel better about using exfoliators at night so my skin isn't super sensitive to the sun in the morning I also found that other people really like this one as well because people who have like more cystic acne find that this is super gentle but it still is really effective so regardless if you have acne prone skin or not this is a really great exfoliator also lately, when I've been going to sleep, I've been using the Troy Adderke Accent SOS Sleeping Mask. I find that this is really good for nights that I like blast the AC because it gets so dry when I have the AC on, but it's too hot without it. So that's pretty much my nighttime skincare routine for tonight. I'm pretty simple tonight because I'm lazy and I still have a couple of other things I need to do before I go to sleep. So we'll do that and catch you guys tomorrow. So when I was in Jeju, I actually got this set from Osaluk and this comes with four different kinds of teas. It came with the Jeju Tangerine Tea, the Moonwalk Tea, the Jeju Orchid Green Tea, as well as the Wedding Green Tea. Actually, this top one is a Cherry Blossom Tea because they gave this as a free gift because I guess I spent a lot of money there, but I'm really excited about this because these are all the teas that I want to try But I didn't want to buy a whole pack of each of them and they come with three each I already tried the Jeju one or not the Jeju one the Jeju Tangerine one when I was in Jeju So I think today I might try I'm thinking of green tea. So I might try the wedding green tea I need some caffeine. I think this is supposed to be for like a gift set, but I guess I got a gift set for myself But my initial smell of this, it smelled really sweet. Oh, it's really hot. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Mm. Okay, let's try this again. It kind of tastes like green grape. Oh, that makes sense because it says the tasting notes are flowery and sweet muscat, which is basically the green grape. Still really hot. As for what I need to do today, it's not too busy. I'm actually going to go to my skin clinic and get a facial done just because I feel like my skin has been really congested because I went traveling to Jeju a couple of days ago. So I want to make sure that my skin is in its best condition. So I think I'm going to get a skin treatment, especially because it is a little bit less expensive if you go during a weekday during like work hours from like 9 to 5. It's located in Gangnam, so I'll take you guys around. I think I took you guys around last time. But I could be wrong. I don't think I showed you like the actual process of me getting eye aqua peel. That's basically my only plans to go outside for today. I don't really have anything else to do outside of my house. I just have a lot of things I need to do on my laptop. So I think I'm going to head there. Maybe walk around a little bit. I don't know. Maybe go window shopping. And then I'll just head on over back home. Because I do want to miss the whole rush hour. Because the subways and the buses get really, really crowded during rush hour. And today is a Friday. So I know a lot of people might be getting off early too. I thought I'd be going out a lot during break, but I guess it's just running errands and catching up with all the work that I missed when it was the last couple weeks of class. And it's probably for the best if I just stay home a little bit and chill because I mean, it's not as bad in Korea as in other places, but you know, 
the panini is still going on right now, so we gotta make sure that we're staying safe. About to head out now. Time to get my skin treatment and just, I don't know, go outside and walk around Gangnam so I'm not just stuck inside all day. Here's my very simple outfit and let's go. Actually, let me go check if I need an umbrella or not. I just finished getting my facial treatment and my skin looks so good right now. I am just walking through Gangnam or here's Shake Shack but I'm trying to eat healthy so I won't eat that. Actually I think I'm gonna go to Olive Young because the Olive Young here is really big. Let me try to find it though. I think it's up ahead. Let's go! Also it's pretty popping today considering I guess because it's like a Friday and people probably get off work early but it's still like 3.30 p.m. so I guess people are just starting their weekends early. So which one should I try out today? I got Earl Grey as well as lemon sugar and what was the last one? Kaya. Kaya jam. It looks delicious. And Medi keeps talking about these donuts, so I trust the donut expert. I got a fork, a knife, and a plate because I don't want it to be all messy on my desk. Hmm. Let's try the Kaya one today. I love Kaya toast. Oh, oh no, I got some of the cream. Oh, it's good. Oh, she's beautiful. Place it on the plate. And then let's put these two away on the side. Oh, why is this so difficult? Okay. So I wanted to show you guys a little, uh, not little, but a grocery haul that I got. So uh, I do post some of the stuff that I get on Instagram, but not too often. And I love buying groceries online, so I decided to show you guys what you can get online in groceries in Korea. This is a place called Market Curly. I feel like this and Coupon Fresh are probably the most popular online grocery stores or marts in Korea. And I like Market Curly just because I feel like they have a really good variety of a lot of things. I find that it's pretty hard to find some more foreign ingredients or like food items if you just go to like the in-person mart like Lotte Mart or E-Mart but online it's a lot easier to find so whoever tells you they can't find something in Korea they're wrong you can but you'll just pay a premium for it so the first things that I got oh these are the non-refrigerated items I got two dark whole wheat bagels these ones are so good and I like the dark bagel because they tend to be like chewier. So I got two of these because they're out of stock for the longest time. I got some chicken. I'm pretty sure this is chicken tikka masala. I love Indian food. It's so expensive in Korea. I also got this pack of chicken breast chips. I wanted to try it out because it's from like a pretty popular like healthy food brand called Tano here. They also have a YouTube channel. And then I also got this granola or like brown rice cereal. It's the chocolate flavor. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is the white truffle oil. Look how small mini it is. I want to get a mini one because I know I won't be using it like every single day, but I just want to spice up some of my dishes. This is the refrigerated stuff. First thing that I got is the smoked salmon for lox bagels. Ah, it's getting wet everywhere. It's fine, I'll just clean it up later. Smoked salmon for lox bagels. I also got some green onions. I want to make green onion pancakes. I also have some ricotta cheese so I can make ricotta toast, kind of like in the brunch places. And a dozen eggs. Oh, also a pack of tofu. And I got quite a few things off. I get really crazy online shopping, but don't worry, I make sure that I eat all of my food. So this is the lemon um, bar, and this is from this brand called protein bakery so it's supposed to be healthier than buying or just like eating regular baked goods and this is the yogurt bar i got some chicken breast so this is tandoori flavored 
This is the herb flavor, perilla leaf flavor. I got some non to go with the curry. Got a rose topoki because I didn't want to buy this out. And if I am craving topoki, then I can just heat this up and save a little bit of money instead of buying like a massive portion of topoki. Oh. <laughs> I say that, but then I also bought a different topoki. This is the regular one. This is just like the rice topoki. And this is one of the best selling products on Market Curly. So I wanted to try it out for myself and see if it actually tastes that good. And last thing I got is from Coupon. I got the Perfect Hair Serum. I actually got this recently the other day. I got the Coconut Water Serum. But I actually wanted to compare it to the original one, especially for a video because I feel like it'll be really helpful. And this hair serum is pretty affordable. Even if you buy it outside of Korea, I still think it's on like definitely under $20. So I thought it might be like a good affordable hair serum I could try out and get back to y'all on. Gotta put all my groceries away and then head over to the gym, even though it looks really rainy outside. When you finally get a gym membership so you have no excuse anymore, so <sighs> let's grab my umbrella and head on over. <laughs> This is my breakfast slash lunch for the day. I have my chicken breast, it's a black pepper one, and I also have an egg, my cognac brown rice, I believe, and I added some zucchini to this curry, and this is supposed to be like a vegetable curry, which smells really good. I also made myself a soy milk latte with my Nespresso that I've been slacking on using, but I'm hoping to use more so I don't have to buy so many Americano packs in this convenience store. Let's go over to a cafe and start working. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me over the music, but I'm just editing in a cafe right now. I think that it's actually pretty good for me since I feel like I'm more productive here than just like laying in bed all the time. So I might do this more often, but I'm editing many videos because I have such a bad habit of filming videos, but slacking off on editing. So. I really want to get them out for you guys. Today's just a really big editing day and I'm just trying to make this more of a part of my routine. I was actually pretty productive today. A lot more productive than I'm when I am at home. So maybe I'll go out and edit and work more often since it seems like it just feels better when I see other people around me working or even if other people around me talking it's fine as long as they're not talking to me directly you know but I did stop by all young on the way back and picked up a few items so decided to show you guys I picked up three items and the first one is this Petty Para Speedy Skinny Brow I got this in the shade three natural brown and this is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils it's way cheaper than all the other ones i think this is around five thousand one so around five dollars usd and i really like the skinny brow pencils i really don't like the angled or the thick ones so this is perfect for that and it's basically like what one fourth the price of the Anastasia Brow Wiz that I also really like. So I had to pick this up again because I ran out of it so quickly. I also got two new products that I've never tried before. So this one is the HC Safe On Soothing Sun Cushion. I'm hoping that this will allow me to reapply more frequently throughout the day. I know I could just make my own cushion, but I just couldn't find any empty cushion packs recently, at least like in person. So I decided just to buy this one since it seems like it's pretty heavily pushed in the Olive Young stores. And I tried it out with my hand and it seemed pretty nice. Doesn't seem like it has too much of a white cast, but I gotta try it off for myself to really see that. I also got the Mise en Scene, the Perfect Serum, but this is different from the original orange one. They did have the orange one, but I just wanted to try this one since it's supposed to be the water serum and it's supposed to feel a lot lighter. Since my hair is really thin, I don't really like heavy serums anyways because it seems to weigh down my hair and make it look really greasy. So I wanted to give this a shot since most of my serums right now are pretty, pretty heavy duty. 
Actually, let me just try this out right now. Oh, it's also a coconut scent too. Oh, perfect for summer. I actually like coconut scent, so I know there's a rose one too, but I actually don't really prefer rose scents. Can I smell it? I don't think so. It does have a coconut scent, but it's not super noticeable. I was thinking more like Brazilian bum bum cream. Oh, this is what my bleached hair needs. Yeah, it has a slight scent, but it's not too bad. Oh, I guess it's not really super scented because it's a coconut water serum. Okay, so far so good. It seems like it's just making my hair shiny and not greasy. And it feels a lot smoother now too. Oh, I'm so excited for this sun cushion. Also, it's like massive. It's like the size of my head. And let's just open her up now, might as well. Oh, I got a little leaf inside. It doesn't seem like it has a white cast or anything, which is good. And it doesn't seem to be moving my makeup at all. I like this. I will be putting this in my bag. I made my dinner. Just made this tofu chobap. I mixed it with a little bit of brown rice as well. And then I just made like, or I heated up this two duck slices as well as two eggs just because, maybe because I just need to finish eating my eggs, but this will be good. I might need to save some of this for later, but at least I made it and it looks so pretty. Bone apple tea. With him and move forward in this relationship, I really have to let it go. So I'll be ending the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually starting a new vlog right after this, so keep an eye out for that. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post there more often than I post on YouTube and you can keep up with me and we can interact over there. Let me know what other places you'd like to see in Seoul and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!